hi friends welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how to make this cowl with matching to our hat so in the last video we did our hat a beanie and now we are going to do the matching cowl so this textured cowl we are going to do okay it's this way so this is going to be the neck cowl for this video and the previous one was the beanie the hat okay so we are going to use the same yarn which we use for the hat the same hook that is 4 mm hook okay and we will need measuring tape for measuring so this cowl mine uh, measures circumference is 58 inches okay you can make more big or less according to you and the height of the cowl is six inches okay so you can do the adjustment as you like so with the yarn and the hook ready let's get started Okay, for this cowl, for this uh, for making this cowl, we are going to use the same yarn how we uh, the one which we used for the beanie, the hat, and the hook, four millimeter, four mm, same hook. Okay, then we are going to slot. Uh, then we are going to start with the slip knot. Place it on the hook. We are going to chain. 260 if you are going to follow with me it is 260 okay so start with chain 7 4 5 6 7 and then you pinch the last chain remove the hook out and then we go into the first chain which we started the first chain just put the hook on top from top the hook inside and then we go back to the chain the loop which we left and place it back on the hook okay in this way we will get a perfect circle without twisting and then we are going to continue chaining 260 okay so go ahead and chain your 260 and I'll be right back here okay once you have your 260 chains it's a long chain so this cowl will be folded in half like this and then it will be worn okay so now here is the thing you can do if you want to change it so if you want a just a single fold not a double fold then you go for 160 160 or you just measure it around your you know, neck the chain how you want okay so when you are done with the chaining you are going to just slip your hook through the first one like this and we have attached the circle okay so now we are going to do the next thing next we are going to chain one okay then single crochet in the same place where we did the slip stitch okay the first chain which we slip through in that single crochet so this is the uh, same pattern which we did for the hat the multiple of two so okay so how many chains you take remember you have to take it multiple of two so after the first single crochet in the next chain it will be a double crochet double 
crochet in the next chain then followed by a single crochet followed by double crochet and single crochet so you're going to work this pattern all the way till the end over here okay so take your time i know it's a long chain but this um, stitch works very easy and very fast just keep in mind it's double followed by single so double and single so work this throughout the chain till the end and i'll see you over there okay once you reach at the end remember that your last stitch will be a double crochet okay then see that now before joining you make sure that your work is not twisted okay just lay it flat like this and see it is not twisted it's all fine okay once it is all unravel just going to slip stitch and the single crochet first single crochet just slip stitch to join then chain one and then we are going to turn our work so we are going to do this for each and every round chain one and turn around so now we get here the double crochet so the same pattern it is the double crochet gets the single crochet we always start with a single and end with a double okay and the single gets a double then single and double crochet so this is how you're going to work this entire round single crochet and double crochet okay so go ahead work this entire round and meet me back at the end and i will show you what you have to do next okay so okay here i have see reached this is the last stitch double crochet so now it becomes little confusing with this texture like where is the end so what you can do you can put a stitch marker at the single crochet where you start so that you know where you're starting or you can take this tail as your guide that this is the end part over here okay so this is my last double crochet here so you can come to know with a little bump over there so it will be a single crochet on top of that and then double crochet in the last stitch okay and then we are going to slip stitch in the first single crochet over here to join chain one turn the work and first we get is the double crochet so on top of that double crochet we will work the single crochet then the double crochet okay so now here what you can do when you do the single crochet is just put the stitch marker over here so now you know this is where you started okay so before this stitch you will have the single crochet here so here it will be your last stitch that is double crochet okay so you're going to work this pattern round one and two again and again till you get your desired length so what i'm going to do is this is how i'm going to measure it like this okay and i'm going to work till seven inches 
till I get seven inches total number of okay there so I'm going to work as many rounds I need to reach seven inches or if you want less height you can do that also okay so you carry on putting this first round and second round remember always start with a single crochet and end with a double crochet okay so chain one and then turn yeah so carry on putting this stitch putting this rounds again and again how many times you need till you get your length and i'll be right back here with you when i have finished mine okay So here guys I have so here's I finish okay this is how much I need I told I will do seven inches but I did up to six because this is wide enough for me I don't need more so if you want seven inches you can surely make seven inches or you can make even bigger however you like it this is all up to you okay so now after the last slip stitch and chain one we are going to snip the yarn okay and then pull it like this out then we are going to take a needle and we are going to weave in the ends okay we are going to weave in in the back side like this in this there is no back side actually both the sides are equal you can see both the sides are same you can use any side you want okay that's the beauty of this like you don't have to worry whether i'm putting it right side or wrong side okay so here i'm going into the few stitches like this back and forth okay and then got the excess we're in the next one tail also here just see that you don't pull your yarn too much hard okay we don't want the stitches going off the rail we want them to keep the design as it is okay and done got the excess and the cowl is ready so how you're going to wear it as you have seen in the picture you're just going to put it like this for your neck and then fold it into half so this is how it will be your neck cow okay you can wear in different ways you can make it as a hood okay but this is how it will be so you will have your matching hat for that okay so this is the matching hat so you have your matching hat and the cowl you have your matching hat and the cowl ready so this is how we did so i hope you like this cowl making with me and you enjoy it as much as i and it will help you to keep yourself warm in the coming winters okay so I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.